my pleasure sir. so thanks bhumi nathan sir and team maker sahiya sekretary for giving me this opportunity to interact with you guys <clears throat> and i really thanks for such kind of initiative by king makers is academy today we are going to start with the discussion on csat what is the trend analysis how many questions from which area what are the important sources what are the reasons why students are struggling to qualify csat so in this section first of all my introduction that sir has given so my name is dinesh koshik i am passed out from i am calcutta and i have been in this field of education in the teaching industry for almost 14 years i have been teaching for cat and for the last 12 years i am teaching for civil services aptitude test also that is csa so my dear students as all of you know that csa cannot make you an is officer but it can stop you and it has happened with many deserving candidates there are students who are getting 120 plus marks in gs some of them are getting 140 plus marks also but they are not able to reach labasna because there is he said in between labasna and you people okay so i am going to show you the marks of some of the students you can see here the score in gs is 121.78 But in CSET paper two, it is fourteen nine point one eight. So the purpose of this slide is not to make you afraid of CSET, but it is a wake up call for all of you. UPSC has sent a very clear and sound message from the last, especially once the COVID started. Since then only the difficulty level of the paper has gone up, and there is the message is that UPSC is putting their effort. to prepare two set of papers one is for gs and another for csat and they expect the same thing from the aspirants also that you need to devote you need to respect the upsc's time and you need to devote your time also for csat preparation okay my dear so it is not only the single person there are so many so now let us discuss the syllabus first in our csat paper basically there are three areas one is basic numeracy second is logical reasoning and third is reading comprehension so basic numeracy i am clubbing it the other basic numeracy plus data interpretation and data sufficiency data sufficiency especially for the last 5 years from the last 5 years you people started asking questions on data sufficiency. so these are the these are the topics that we are going to cover in our course during the course of interaction we are going to cover these topics chain rule time block and pipe access and allegations number system lcm xcf simple equations my dear simple equations i personally feel that it is the backbone of basic numbers but unfortunately most of the books available in the market they do not have simple equation as chapter also okay so these are the topics i hope you can other twenty topics of basic numeracy plus there there will be 16 topic from logical reasoning and reading comprehension also basically there are five areas on which upsc is asking the question that is what is the crux of the passage what is the assumption statement conclusion inference strengthening weakening the argument something like that so let us see the particular trend analysis yes are written in manner 2011 2012 like that first area basic numeracy plus di plus second is general mental ability or i can say logical reasoning and third is reading comprehension so one request to the admin will i be the comments from the students also so, so that i can ask some of the questions in that case will i be will this conversation be kind of both ways will not be able to answer my queries so it means we have to, it, to for today it's going to be a one way session 
so only i will be speaking and you guys will be listening so that's why we have to keep this as short session otherwise my plan was to discuss some questions with you guys also okay so let us see the analysis basic numeracy plus di plus ds these are the number of questions asked from this area logical reasoning this is the passion and reading comprehension so my dear if you observe from this slide during this journey of cfat there is one pattern what is that pattern the pattern is that there is no pattern fine upsc is free to ask free to increase the number of questions from a particular area earlier students were feeling very much comfortable they were saying that almost 32 somewhere 32 31 30 questions they were coming from reading comprehend so students were feeling a bit comfortable in rc and most of the students those who are from the humanity background or haven't touched the mathematics or mathematics for such a long time they were skip the first part banking upon the second area only so but that has become a nightmare for many of the students because not only the number of questions has been increased from reading comprehension but also the difficulty level of reading comprehension so earlier there used to be a passage based upon that passage there were three questions or four questions but these days upsc is giving you a single passage based upon that there is only one question okay one passage one question like that so this makes the paper lengthier and you can see that from 2020 onwards once the covid started from there upsc has shown some work consistency in the first year almost 50% of the questions are coming from the first year you can see sudden growth 2020 21 22 23 in this last four years you have seen and uh, we have found some work consistency in the first area and if you see 2020 this paper then there were 12 questions from general mental ability and in fact my dear 12 questions also To, we have to use the our basic knowledge of basic numeracy they were not purely logical reasoning based problem they were basically i can say that mathematical or numerical ability kind of thing for okay so after this we are going to discuss the importance of each and every topic from this chapter how many questions have been asked so this is the order of importance of the chapters you can see number system this year number system almost 20 questions were asked from this year. then permutation and combination nine questions were asked so if i go back to the previous slide and uh, if i discuss this then we can see that this year in 20 If I talk about basic numeracy plus DI plus PS, there were forty-one questions. Out of these forty-one questions, from basic numeracy area only, there were thirty questions. Out of these thirty questions, out of these thirty questions, approximately twenty questions came from number system. Why I am saying approximately? because there was one question which could be integrated in permutation combination and it could have been using the concept of number system so i am counting that question that question in the number system so there were nine question nine question were from permutation and combination so one question is doubly counted so don't count this as 20 it will be 28 question because one question doubly counted then there was one question from time and work and one question from simple and compound interest simple and compound interest so we can say that majority of the questions were coming from number system and permutation combination only these two chapters covered 90% of the syllabus fine so 
Now, looking at this slide, if we talk about the top six areas, so top six chapters from basic numeracy, then I can say number system is at the highest priority. Then after number system, we can say that permutation and combination is the highest priority area. Then permutation and combinations, then percentages, simple equations, average mixtures, and allegations. So my dear are uh, the five most important chapters from basic numeracy. Got it? Now, after that, you can see that data sufficiency, I told you in the beginning also, from the last five years, I started asking the question from data sufficiency, but consistently, consistently, we are asking the question from this. Okay? So, Whenever we are starting our preparation, anyway, we are going to start the batch very soon. So, depending upon the importance of the chapter, we have to put the time according. Fine. So, those chapters which are very frequently asked, uh, which have very high importance or high yielding areas, we have to devote more time. Anyway, we cannot leave the other areas also because who knows, next year, you can see the questions from those areas which are not that much asked. So in the next slide, I'm going to show you those topics which are not that frequently asked. It completes these two slides complete our syllabus. This is the decreasing order of importance of the topics. And this is the I say, this is a simple interest. From simple interest, we got a question, total only from this. Okay. I hope till here I'm clear. So now I have to. Uh, this is very difficult. I will not be able to interact with you. Otherwise, I would have been. How will I get to know that you guys are getting whatever I am teaching you or not? So, in that case. Let me discuss all concepts with you guys. And in the concept of from number system one, the number of digits may be one number. That is the question. Now, the question is that n is a number, and this number is found by writing first 20 natural numbers back to back. First 20 numbers back to back, then the resulting number will have how many digits? That is the question. n is equal to 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have to find this number has how many digits. So let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 30. So this number has 31 digits. But examiner may ask a bigger number. In that case, it will not be feasible for us to write the entire number and then count the numbers in this. So for that, we need to have some shortcuts. So our number 20. A two digit number. So it means by when we are reaching 20, we must have crossed all the single digit numbers. 20 is a two digit number. So take it in two parts single digit numbers and double digit numbers. Single digit and double digit numbers. So out of these 20 numbers, that first nine numbers they are of single digit. Out of 20, nine numbers are of single digit. Rest how many numbers are left? 11 numbers are left. So there are nine numbers of single digit and they are followed by 11 numbers of double digit. What is the total number? Nine numbers of single digit, they will give you nine digits. And 11 numbers of double digit, they will give you 11 into 2, 20. So total number of digits will be nine, in, nine plus 20. That is coming out to 30. This is having 31. I hope 
If there is problem with this, we have written first 20 natural numbers back to back, and we have to find this number has how many digits. Out of 20, there are nine numbers of single digit, and the remaining 11 numbers are of double digit. So nine numbers will give you nine digits, and 11 numbers of double digit will give you 22 digits. Total number of digits will be 9 plus 22, that is 30. Instead of 20, had it been supposed 85 digit number, uh, 85 numbers. So, not only problem, and practice yourself for every question. I am giving you approximately 60 seconds. Assuming that you guys are practicing, although I will not be able to see your answer, but once I stop dictating the question after 60 seconds, I will start discussing. So, let the question be like that. Then the number n. This number is formed by by writing first 85 natural numbers back to back. We have to write the counting till 85. This number will have how many digits? Please try it yourself. We have returned. 85 natural numbers back to back. The resulting number will have how many digits? So, while attending this session, please carry a paper and pen with you. Assume that you are sitting in the offline class. Yeah, let us start now. So, in this case, the number was having 85 numbers. 85 is a two digit number, so it means we must have completed all the single digit numbers and double digit numbers. So, out of 85, first nine numbers will be double digit. So, from 85, if you remove these nine, you are left with 76 more numbers. Nine numbers of single digit will give you nine digits. And 76 numbers of double digit will give, will give you how much? 2 into 76, that is 152 digits. We are getting 9 digits from the first 9 numbers and 152 digits from the remaining 76 2 digit numbers. So if we add it to how many digits we are getting, we are getting 161 digits. Assuming it is clear. This is clear. Then keep not down one more problem. A typist was typing. A typist was typing page numbers of a 180-page book. A typist was typing the page numbers of a 180-page book. Find the total number of digits typed by him. Find the total number of digits typed by him. So, giving one minute time, one, two, three, 178, 179, 180. Type it, has to type 180 page number. How many digits should be typing in all? Total number of digits typed by the typist. Okay, should I start? Let us start now. Now, if you observe carefully, 180 is a three digit number. Okay, this is a three digit number. After double digit, we must be using some of the three digit numbers also. If I break it into three parts and single digit from nine, one to nine, then from 10 to 99, and then 100 to 100. That's three parts. From one to nine, there are nine numbers. From 10 to 99, these will be how many numbers? 
from 99 first nine numbers are already taken so it means there are 90 numbers of double digit now from 180 99 are taken how many are left 81 are left 180 minus 99 that is 81 so we can see nine numbers of single digit 90 numbers of double digit and 81 numbers of three digit we have to find the number of digits in this number so nine numbers of single digit will give you nine digits 90 numbers of double digit will give you 180 digits and 81 numbers of three digit will give you how much 243 digits we have to add 9 plus 180 plus 243 so how much we are getting here if we add this 9 plus 180 plus 243 let me give us the total number of digits we are going to write what is here okay so it has become my habit to give the question and see the answers so okay my dear now let us see a question from previous year in that case instead of 180 it was 150 a typist was typing first 150 natural numbers 150 natural numbers so find the number of digits typed by this typist attempt 180 is 150 from 1 100 this has how many digits in it let us start 150 assuming that you guys have got the correct answer for this so from 1 to 9 and 10 to 20 And to 150. So these are nine numbers. These are 90 numbers. And these are 51. So single digit nine numbers, double digit 90 numbers, and three digit 51 numbers. What is the total number of digits we are getting? So all single digit numbers will give you nine digits. 90 numbers of double digit will give you 180 digits. And fifty-one numbers of three digits, one hundred and fifty. So, what is the total number of digits we are getting? If we add it, we are getting it as three hundred and forty. That is done. Okay. Fine. Now, let us discuss once. one more small concept here uh, based upon that there was a question this is paper also if you multiply 11 with 11 11 into 11 your answer will be 121 if you multiply Triple one with triple one. Then your answer will be one, two, three, one. If you multiply four times one with four times one, then your answer will be one, two, three, four, six, one, like that. Okay, my dear. So now the first question. question was that there is a nine digit number whose all the digits are one there is a nine digit number whose all digits are one when the number is multiplied by itself when the number is multiplied by itself then find the sum of the digits of the resulting number find the sum of the digits of the resulting number and repeating it one more time there is a nine digit number whose all digits are one so one 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 written back to back when this number is multiplied by itself we are getting another number find the sum of the digits of the new number form 
sum of the of the mean number sum you guys please attempt it for two minutes for this you need to try by yourself then i will start this my dear students i hope you guys have tried it let us start when there are two digits then we when we started writing we have to go up to two and then start decreasing if this is a three digit number when you are multiplying it by itself we have to go up to three then write them in the decreasing order if this is a four digit number multiplied by four times one you have to go up to four one two three four then write in the decreasing order in the similar manner if a nine digit number multiplied by nine digit number then the product should go up to nine and then decrease that will be 12345678 and after that it will be the decreasing order 7654321 i hope you guys are aware that this will be the product we are getting we have go from 1 to 5 in the decreasing order till 1 so this will be the product now the next challenge is we have to we are not supposed to find this number what is the number we have to find the sum of the digits of the number so you add this so when that till here from 1 to 8 is written and here also from 1 to 8. so first of all you add this part and same will be here so it will be double of that and then 9 has to be added separate okay My dear, there is a formula: one plus two plus three. Sum of n natural numbers. It is coming out to be n n plus one by. Here n is eight. So if I add up to eight, I sum eight into nine. It means sum of this part is thirty-six, and this part is ten. Thirty-six plus we haven't yet considered this nine. So this nine will also be the sum. Thirty-six plus thirty-six, seventy-two. Seventy-two plus nine that will be that is eighty. Because of so many so many concepts, you have to. There was a nine-digit number whose all digits were nine nine one one one. Then again, there were one, 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 nine times. Multiply this, then you are getting the answer as this. We have to find some of the digits. So, so many. Although the number of questions from basic numeracy were thirty, but every question this was using a multiple concept. So, with the help of these thirty questions, UPSC checked your almost fifty to seventy concepts. My fifty to seventy concepts they used. There were. Questions with the multiple concepts. Now, let us do short. Now, if you add these digits, what is the sum? One plus two plus one plus two plus one. That is coming out to be four. And here, what is the sum? One plus two is three. Plus three, six plus eight plus one. Nine. Here sum is nine. What is the sum here? One plus two, three plus three, six plus four, ten plus six, sixteen. This sum is. You guys must have observed that if this is a two-digit number, the sum is coming out to be four. If this is a three-digit number, then sum is coming out to be four. If this is a four-digit number, then sum is coming out to be What would be our answer if our number was of nine digits? So, can we attempt this question in just five seconds? It will take less than five seconds, my dear. If the number was having nine ones in it, then but upon multiplication, some of the digits will be nine square. That will be one. I hope it is. So. I think 
uh, I have to just check with the admin that I have a class for that I have to leave. So, um, by what time maximum I can stretch this session? Because if I start the new concept, then it will take me approximately half an hour to complete that topic. So anyway, student, in the next class, hopefully we will be interacting with each other. And I, will, I would be very glad if I could become a part of your success journey. You must have what time maximum I can stress this session. Yes, sir. Dinesh, I guess, if I start the new concept, then it will take me approximately half an hour to complete that topic. Yes, please. You can go up to 130. That's not okay. an issue. Okay, sir. Okay. Fine, sir. In the next class, Thank hopefully, you. we will be interacting with each other. And <laughs> I, will, I will so be next very concept, glad. Uh, based I upon that, there were two questions asked this year. So I'm going to take that concept also. That concept is factor based problem. Problem. When this number is written in the form of a to the power p into p to the power q, where a and b are prime numbers, any number n, then written in the form of a to the power p into p to the power q where A and B are prime numbers. First of all, we have to discuss what are the prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which have exactly two factors, that is one and itself only. One and itself only. So my dear, six is a prime number, then three is a prime number, five is a prime number, seven is a prime number, like that. So I'm saying if you are two prime number, uh, A and B are prime numbers, their powers are p and q, then number of factors, number of factors of the number will be p plus 1 into q plus 1. Let me explain this. Because we have a number 20. First of all, we have to break 20 in this form. So if we are breaking it to tanger to pisa. So 2 into 2, 2 square, this number is 2 square into 5 to the power 1. What does the formula say? Increase. Whatever the power is there, add 1 in that. So here power is 2. So what do you take? 2 plus 1. Here power is 1. So what do you take? 1 plus 1. So how many factors we are having? 3 into 2. There will be six factors. 20 has six factors. Let us count those factors, which are those factors. So 20 factors will be 1, 2, then 4, then 5, then 10, and 20. So how many factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are six factors. What if suppose there is an other number? If the number is 2 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 4. So we have to find the number of factors of this number. Here power is 5, so add 1 in that, 5 plus 1 is 6. Here power is 2, so add 1 in that. Here power is 4, so add 1 in that. What we are getting 6 into 3 to 5. So that is coming out to be 90. This number has 90 factors. My dear, UPC is not going to give you a number. They are not going to check your calculation. But in UPSC, what will happen? You will never, uh, not never, so you will face difficulty in finding what we have to find. Okay. So to determine that, what we have to determine it itself, question it, understanding the question itself is a problem. Fine. So attempt one question. I'm taking a simple number. 120. 120 has how many factors? 
find the number of factors of 120 try this find the number of factors of 120 anji i hope you have tried first of all factor is 120 120 when divided by 2 you will get 60 then when divided by 2 you will get 30 when divided by 2 15 when divided by 3 5 so remember that we have to take only prime numbers here so 2 is coming how many times 3 times 120 is to the power 2 and 3 to the power 1 and then 5 to the power 1 2 to the power 3, 3 to the power 1, and then 5 to the power 1. How many factors are there? 2 q. Here power is 3. So number of factors, number of possibility or number of options for this will be 4. Here power is 1. So add 1 in that. Power is 1. Add 1 in that. What is the total number of factors? Here it is 4 into 2 into 2. What is the total number of factors? Answer will be 16. Answer is I hope you got it. Now let us try one more problem. Find the number of factors of 3 square into 4 to the power 3. This number has how many factors? Number of factors of 3 square into 4 cube. This number has how many factors? Anji, I hope you have tried. So, how many of you got 12 answer? I hope, I am sure that some of you, many of you will be getting the answer as 12. So, 2 power is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. And power is 3. So, you will get 3 plus 1, 4. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. But my dear, that will be no answer here. Because what did I say? These has to be prime number. 4 is not a prime number. So instead of that, it has to be broken into the prime factor. So 4 can be written as 2 to the power or to the power 3. So my dear, 4 is written like this. And here powers get multiplied. So 2 to the power 2 whole to the power 2 to the power 6. So first of all, we have to replace 4 to the power 3 as 2 to the power 6. So it will be t square into 2 to the power 4, 3. How many possibilities? Power is 2, so plus 1, 3. And for 2 to the power 6, how many possibilities? 6 plus 1, 7. So 3, 7, answer will be 1. This number will have 21 factors, not 12. I hope it is clear. Fine. Okay, not down one more problem. Or how many positive integer values of x? For how many positive integer values of x? N is equal to for how many positive integer values of x? n is also a positive integer for how many positive integer values of x n is also a positive integer where n is equal to 5x square plus 7x plus 16 divided by for how many positive integer values of x n is also a positive integer where n is given like this. Please attempt this. For how many positive integer values of x, n is also a positive integer where n is given to us. Anji, I hope you have tried. My dear. 5x square. This x is in the division of all these parts. So it will be 5x square upon x plus 7x 
अपॉन एक्स प्लस सिक्सटी अपॉन एक्स एंटायर पार्ट हैज टू बी अपोजिटिव इंटीजर माई डी आर कैन आई कैंसिल आउट दिस सो इट विल बिकम फाइव एक्स दिस विल बिकम सेवन एंड दिस विल बी सिक्सटी अपॉन एक्स If x is a positive integer, then five times of x will be positive integer. Seven is also a positive integer. So for the entire part to be integer, it has to be an integer. How can I get sixty upon x as positive integer? This is possible only if it is divisible by x. If sixty is divisible by x, then x has to be a factor of sixty. So the question becomes. 60 has how many factors? Find the number of factors of 60. Please attend this. I'm repeating one more time. 5x square plus 7x plus 60 divided by x. So this x is the division of each and every term. So it will become 5x square upon x plus 7x upon x plus 60 upon x. This will give you 5x plus 7 plus 60 upon x. If x is a positive integer, 5x will be positive integer. 7 itself is a positive integer, so their sum will be positive integer. Remaining part must also be a positive integer. How can I get this as positive integer? Only if x completely divides 60 or x is a factor of 60. It has how many factors? How many factors? Right here, this is a small number. You can find. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, thirty, and sixty. These are factors of sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are twelve factors. But if the number is bigger number, or if you want to utilize one to use the formula, then fifty should be divided. Nine factors: two thirteen, two fifteen, then three five. So two per sixty is two per into three to the power one into five to the power one. So here power is so you will get three here. Power is one, so increase four by one. Power is one, so increase two by one. So three into two into two. So we are getting here. Answer to be twelve. We have written twelve, and by using the formula also can be twelve. So, my dear, if this concept is clear, let us practice a question from this year's paper only. So, there was a question. Note it down. The question was: If n is equal to n is equal to 7x plus 96. If n is equal to 7x plus 96 is completely divisible by completely divisible by x, then completely divisible by x, then X can take how many positive integer values? Then X can take how many positive integer values? Positive integer is nothing more than negative values. Here, this is just, and you can say that this is paper was really tough. Anji, I hope you have tried, and you got to know that here. If you divide by six, you will get seven ninety-six by x. Seven is a positive integer. Ninety-six by x also must be a positive integer. Then only the entire thing will become a positive. So here the question is: ninety-six has how many factors? So first of all, break ninety-six the prime factors. So two forty-eight, two twenty-four, then twelve, six, two. So two is coming how many times? Five times. So ninety-six is two to the power five or one. 
we have to find the number of factors of this number. So, to the power 5, here power is 5. So, what we are getting 5 plus 1, 6. Here power is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, what will be the answer? 6 into 2, that is 12. My dear students, I hope you guys are comfortable till now. For those who did not understand, I am repeating it one more time. 7x plus 96 divided by x. So if you divide by x, you will get 7 plus 96 by x. 7 is a positive integer. 96 by x has to be positive integer. So this is possible if x is a factor of 96. So 96 factorized, we got 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 1. So power is 5, so we are getting two possibilities here. Power is 1, we are getting two possibilities here. So 6 into 2, 12. We are getting 12 factors. So in this way, whatever we are going to cover in our modules, the teaching pedagogy will be same. I am going to discuss the concept. After that, we will be discussing the PYQs in the classroom itself. Okay, my dear? Yes, uh, very excellent session. Uh, I'm sure definitely our students would have uh, benefited because of this uh, wonderful session. So thank you so much, uh, Dinesh, sir, for your great association with the Kingmaker IS Academy. Yes, sir. I, am, I also feel privileged, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.